Upon the Queen's death on Thursday, her son and heir apparent became King Charles III, with an official accession ceremony taking place the next day. But what do we know about the newly appointed monarch? The 73-year-old is the longest-serving heir apparent in UK history, as well as the oldest person to have been crowned monarch in the nation's history. Over the past seven decades he has lived a varied life and juggled his commitments as a prominent member of the royal family with educational pursuits, family life and passionate advocacy for the environment. Want to look back at his life so far? Follow as we reveal some of the biggest moments from King Charles's 73 years. The future King Charles III was Queen Elizabeth's first child and was born on 14 November 1948. Charles grew up and spent a lot of time in Balmoral Castle in Scotland with his father, mother and his sister Princess Anne, who was born two years after Charles in 1950. Charles was three years old in this picture. Charles attended Gordonston, an independent boarding school in Moray, Scotland, in 1967. Before Gordonston, Charles attended Cheam Preparatory School in Headley. Charles then studied at Trinity College as a Cambridge University undergraduate, gaining a BA degree in 1970. As a recent graduate, Charles is inducted into the House of Lords in 1970 before making his maiden speech in 1974. Charles served in the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy. After his last training flight on 27 July 1971, he was qualified to wear the Royal Air Force Flying Badge, which was presented to him here on 20 August 1971. Charles met Lady Diana Spencer in 1977, when he was the companion of her elder sister Sarah to Spencer home in Althorpe. Charles and Diana married at St. Paul's Cathedral in London, 29 July 1981. Charles and Diana had their first child Prince William on the 22nd of June 1982. In 1984, Charles and Diana had their second son, Prince Harry was born. Here is Charles enjoying some family time on a skiing holiday in Klosters, Switzerland on the 18th of February, 1994 with his young sons Harry and William. Charles and Diana legally separated in 1992 and officially divorced in 1996. Sadly, Diana passed away following a car crash in Paris in 1997 and Charles attended the UK funeral with his family including his father and two children. 1998, Charles celebrated his 50th birthday in London, ringing in half a century at a reception at Buckingham Palace. Charles and Camilla Parker, then Camilla Shan, met in 1971 and eventually began a relationship that ended in 1973. However, they kindled their romance in 1986. In 2005 they announced their intention to marry. In April 2005, Charles had his second wedding to his longtime partner Camilla. He is the only member of the UK royal family to have had a civil rather than a Church of England wedding in the UK. Charles attended the wedding of his son William and his new bride Kate, the freshly appointed Duchess of Cambridge, now the Princess of Wales, in 2011. Charles and Doria Ragland, Meghan Markle's mother, attended the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan in 2018. After the passing of his father Prince Philip in 2021, Charles attended his funeral in Windsor in April. Charles with his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, on 2 June 2022 attended the Trooping the Colour celebration as part of the festivities celebrating the Platinum Jubilee. Charles returned to London for his first audience with UK Prime Minister Liz Truss as the reigning UK monarch on 9 September. Charles is currently King Charles III and his official coronation is to take place in the nearest future. Do you think Charles would make a good king? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more amazing videos.